What up, YouTube? Uh, today we are going to be talking about arranging our dental arch in preform and preparing it for 3D printing. So the quickest and most efficient way to do this is print the model flat on its base. So we're just going to be working with these three icons here. And the top one, there is a button down here at the bottom that is called Select Base. We will choose that. It gives us this cool suction cup tool and by clicking here where we want it, it'll just plop it flat down. And we can see that it is nice and flat on the base, on the build plate. So this is actually, this grid here is our build plate. And here we can move the arch. For this application, we never want to choose this button. See what it does there? We don't want that. Not in the dental world. Okay, this little sphere here will also allow us to move the model. Uh, but for now, we just are going to click and drag. And let's see what our print time is on this. one hour and 18 minutes. Okay, now let's see what our print time would be if we added supports to this model. Over here, our middle button, is our supports icon, and we can just choose generate selected. There we have it. Supports, looks great. What is our print time here? So we jumped up to an hour and 41 minutes without supports. I also just want to talk about how to edit your supports. So, reasons this would be effective is if you had six models here you wanted to arrange and print overnight. Um, so we would want to build them more at an upright position. So we can just choose here on the sphere, bring this model a more of a slanted position. And that way we can line them up nice and easy. Let's go ahead and generate some supports. Excellent. Okay, let's take a look. So the software is automatically going to generate supports where it feels we need, but what we don't want typically are supports built on our teeth. So we can come over here to our supports button again, choose edit, and if we zoom in very closely. These little blue dots indicate where the supports are built. So I can select there and I will select here. Okay, I'll apply those support edits. Okay, I will apply those support edits. Okay. And what do we have? Looks good. Perfect. Let's see what the time is on this, just for fun. Two hours and 43 minutes. Okay. So this is exactly why when we have several models here, uh, why it's something we would want to build overnight. Um, otherwise, I'm typically looking for the quickest, most efficient way, especially if we're debonding in the morning and planning to deliver an Essex on printed model. So uh, I will just deselect these supports 
by coming over here to clear. Okay, and coming back to the select base. There we have it. Okay, this bottom button here is our layout key. Again, this just allows us to move the model around. We can also manipulate the model here. Okay, so I think it's quite clear that printing flat on the base is typically our quickest, uh, most efficient way to print. And we're ready to print. We just come up here to File and Print, and it sends directly to our printer.